Welcome back guys, we're doing something a little bit different today and I'm super excited about it. My friend Ben Zalent, who you would have seen in our introduction video, he is bringing his bike here and we're going to be doing front brake pads on a bike. I don't know bike things, I don't know bike words, bike terms, so I don't know what his bike is called. But when he gets here, he's going to show us how to do brake pads on a bike, because that's pretty new, pretty interesting I think. Um, let's take a look. There he is. Hey! Hey! Come on in. Ben Zalent. That is him. I'm Ben Zalent. We spoke about you earlier. Oh, we did. Ben and I. <laughs> so Ben. Yes. I have literally no idea about bike things. So why don't you tell us a little more? What, what do you mean? I mean like, what are we doing? Because I don't actually know. We're just going to do a brake jump on the old Suzuki. So it's, it's just, like cars? It's it's uh, basically like a car for the front. Um, the only difference is on the rear, you have to remove the back tire, um, take off the chain and stuff, and <laughs> then you can pull the caliper off. So which side are we doing? So, because there's, there's two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you can see right here, I just did that side before I got here. Um, it's shiny, so we're going to do this side. That's fairly straightforward. Remove the two bolts, take the caliper off, remove the brake pads. There is a there's a pin right here that you have to take off before you pull the pads off. Okay. But you pull the pin, take the brake brake pads off, retract the caliper, and put it all back on. And probably <laughs> like you would, but instead of a brake pedal, you've got your lever. Oh, so you actually this is a hydraulic. You pump this? Yes, and I also. Wow. So we just take the center bolt off right here. Remove the chain and then pull the tire off. And by removing the center bolt, we can then take this bracket pull off, the bracket off. Oh, okay. which then the caliper comes off. This has a separate reservoir right here. As you can see, it's low, brake pads are low. <laughs> and then we're gonna prime the system since this fluid's old and probably degraded, which is why I brought more fluid. That's super cool. Yeah. Fairly straight simple, forward, straight simple. Ben's gonna totally lead the way in this episode because I have no clue. Um, I, mean, I know how bolts turn, but <laughs> I don't know how no, you, how bikes work. So I'll we're gonna tell learn. you what to do, and you can wrench. Perfect. Yeah, you'll, you'll learn. Perf. On Craigslist, you can pick these up for a hundred bucks. It lifts your whole bike in the air, and you can do anything from brakes to an engine swap with them. Is that for the front or the rear? This one is for the rear. I've installed these to make it easier, which are just pegs that allow you to use the hooks instead of the pads on the, on the lift, but you just tilt the bike over, line up the, uh, the hooks if you care about your bike, you don't scratch it like me, and then you just lift it, and that gets that ready for the rear. Dude! Super easy, right? Super cool. The front's cool, because you're like, ah, how's this going to lift the bike up? But it uses physics. There's a little knob under here if you want to see. I do want to see. If you do want to see. There's a little panel that bolts right here. Um, but you just insert it into the bottom of the triple T and push down and it lifts it up. And now it's free to do whatever we need to it. That is actually super cool. Wait. These are actually floating. Did you know these are actually connected? The rotor? No. They, they float. So the rotor connects here. You've got these pins, and they're called, they're connected to these dowels. They're called floating rotors. Right, right, they right. expand and retract. Wow. Um, and there's actually a play spec. All right. So, I believe they're 14s. I just oh. go, whoop, whoop, zip them off. Okay. Super simple. So just take those two off. Okay. Yep. So just go ahead and pull it off. So now, what we do is... Oh, it's like way offset. So, see this pin right here? Yeah. There's that right there. We're going to pull that out, and then it just comes right out. Oh, there's a counter pin there. Yeah, you're lucky because the other one was 
So caliper, after you pull those two bolts out, flip it up to see this pin that goes through these two pads. There's a little cotter pin in there. So I am told, pop that out and you can pull that pin out. Uh, now take that first brake pad and see how it's hooked on right here. So you just lift Tons. it and pull it out. Oh my gosh, it's so easy! I know, right? Just squeeze them both back at the same time. Before we do that, we should probably relieve the or take the cap off the pressure, the reservoir, so it doesn't pressurize the reservoir. We gotta take that screw off, and then it just goes. Oh, much like a regular, regular car, like a car. It's a, just a regular. It's so funny to me how it's. Very similar. <laughs> like I know, I know that makes sense, but it's just surprising it's like, to me. Because you don't work with them. So, yeah, just a very similar reservoir. Just there's a screw that holds it down. Yeah. So we'll we're gonna empty that thing. We're gonna bleed it all out of there. We might as well bleed both brakes too. I think I have a hand pump, which we can use if you want. Um, or you just do it. Doesn't. By yeah, we can do it by hand. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's squish a piston. Let's or, squish a piston. Let's squish a set of pistons. So now we just clean it up. Okay. I, I just like to get the dust out of there. Cleaning. I love cleaning. I feel like uh, Chris Fix when you just see my hands doing stuff. <laughs> ready to accept some brake pads. That easy. This is how you would reset those pads to be back up against the rotors. Like in a car when you pump the, the pedal to get that feeling back, to get that pressure back. <laughs> I just can't get over it. It's so new to me. <laughs> Similar to a car. He's gonna pump it, I'm gonna open it, fluid's gonna come out, we're gonna run the new fluid from the reservoir down through the bleeder and flush it out through the whole system, all through the brake lines, all the way up to the reservoir. When clean fluid starts to come out, we've done a good job. So whenever you do brake fluid, make sure you're cleaning off any painted surface. Uh, because brake fluid is a very potent fluid and it will eat through paint. Okay, so to do the rears, you have to pull the whole tire and assembly. gear assembly um, off the back of the bike. Um, so we're going to show you on the easy to see side, there's just one long bolt that holds that rear wheel on, pull that out, move the whole back assembly out of the way, uh, and then do the brakes. All right, let's, I'm going to show you how to, I, he, he will show me to show you how it's done. <laughs> so, kind of similar to the front caliper. Caliper here pulled one bolt out and now it's hanging on its own bracket. This was being held in by the very large rear wheel bolt. Odd. Or rod. I pulled the bolt out so we can make room um, to remove this, but once you have it off, this should slide right out. Oh, oh surprising. Alan.
We'll be right with you. What would have happened had you taken this off? Could you have pulled the whole caliper off the bracket and not Probably. had to take the tire off? No, I did it on the second gen. I just had it out on it because I was rebuilding the bike already. Brakes are done. Now we're gonna flush the rear brake fluid, uh, which requires the removal of some pieces here. So there is a reservoir right next to Ben's left hand, which requires the removal of some body panels to gain access to. This is your brake lever on the rear brakes. It's a foot peg. That's how you bleed it. Uh, everyone. So thanks to Ben for coming and bringing his bike. They said thank you, I heard it. You're welcome. Thanks, Ben. You had a good time. You look a lot cooler than I do. For now. I'll mend <laughs> all this going on. <laughs> hey, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was something a little bit different, at least for me. Um, I feel like I learned that bikes really aren't as scary and different as I thought they were. Um, so that's pretty cool. I learned that I want to get one. Funny enough, I'm sure most of you know what I'm about to say. Most of you who know bikes probably already know what I'm about to say. But we did not need to remove that rear wheel assembly to do the rear brakes. Which we found out as we were putting it back together. But, I mean, in the end, isn't that why I do the videos? To uh, learn more, but teach a little bit. I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed learning about that. That was a new process for me. Um, anyway, now if you need to tension a chain or replace any component in the rear wheel assembly, which is the sprocket, um, or any sort of those bearings in there, um, now you know. Uh, thanks to Ben Zalent for donating his time and his bike. Uh, Hope to see you again in the future. Uh, Ben's actually moving away soon, so that'll be a little bit sad, but he's going back to Michigan, um, him and his wife. So we're gonna miss you guys, um, but thanks for donating your time before you left. I appreciate it. That's all I got for you for now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more stuff like this, let me know. Also, you guys wanna see these for a few episodes? Got some t-shirts, just got some uh, I found this fun. I thought it was a pretty cool game to play. Um, shop name in the back. Anyone who's into cars is going to know what this is about. It's kind of like a little litmus test for, you know, if you know, then you know. I like to play that game. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know if you're interested and let me know if you like it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Ben wanted a Pop-Tart because I, of course, keep some snacks here, um, but he wanted a toasted Pop-Tart. <laughs> so we have strung some mechanics wire up to a nail in the wall <laughs> and we're toasting a Pop-Tart on the heater. If you start to see smoke in the video, it's that's what it is. <laughs>